Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Peace be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and the saints, you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who have called us to participate in this most sacred supper in which your only begotten Son, when about to hand himself over to death, entrusted to the church this sacrifice 
new for all eternity the banquet of his love. Grant, we pray, that we may draw from so great a mystery the fullness of charity and of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. del libro del éxodo en aquellos días el señor le dijo a moisés y aarón en tierra de egipto este mes será para ustedes el primero de todos los meses y el principio del año díganle a toda la comunidad de israel el día 10 de este mes tomará cada uno un cordero por familia uno por casa si la familia es demasiado pequeña para comérselo, que se junten con los vecinos y elijan un cordero adecuado al número de las personas y a la cantidad que cada cual pueda comer. Será un animal sin defecto, macho, de un año, cordero o cabrito. Lo guardarán hasta el día 14 del mes, cuando toda la comunidad de los hijos de Israel lo inmolará al atardecer. Tomarán la sangre y rociarán las dos jambas y el dintel de la puerta de la casa donde vayan a comer el cordero. Esa noche comerán la carne asada a fuego, comerán panes sin levadura y hierbas amargas. Comerán así, con la cintura ceñida, las sandalias en los pies, un bastón en la mano y a toda prisa porque es la Pascua, es decir, el paso del Señor. Yo pasaré esa noche por la tierra de Egipto y heriré a todos los primogénitos del país de Egipto, desde los hombres hasta los ganados. Castigaré a todos los dioses de Egipto, yo el Señor. La sangre les servirá de señal en las casas donde habitan ustedes. Cuando yo vea la sangre, pasaré de largo y no habrá entre ustedes plaga exterminadora cuando hiera yo la tierra de Egipto. Ese día será para ustedes un memorial y lo celebrarán como fiesta en honor del Señor. De generación en generación celebrarán esta fiesta, festividad como institución perpetua. Palabra de Dios.
Lecture livre, Apocalypse, Apôtre Jean qui saint. Faveur pour nous à cœur posé, soutenant Jésus-Christ qui est moins fidèle. Premier petit, non pas mis moyo, à chef royaux qui soutient, lui-même qui remet nous, qui lave nous soutenant péché, nous yo, nan sang, qui fait nous vin tourner, règne, à prête pour bon Dieu papa. Compliment pour lui, à autorité, pour tout le temps qu'un temps. Amen. Mais la vini avec nuage, tout j'ai à poêle. Même ça, te piqué yo, tout race sous terre, à pleine sous lit. Oui, amen. C'est moi-même Alpha, à Omega, commencement, à finissement. Déclaration grand maître là, lui même qui l'a, qui était là, cap vini, lui même qui gagne tout pouvoir. Parole grand maître là. Merci, bon Dieu, merci. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Before the feast of Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to pass from this world to the Father. He loved his own in the world, and he loved them to the end. The devil had already induced Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot, to hand him over. So during supper, fully aware that the Father had put everything into his power, and that he had come from God and was returning to God, he rose from supper, and took off his outer garments. He took a towel and tied it around his waist. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and dry them with the towel around his waist. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Master, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered and said to him, What I am doing you do not understand now you will understand later. Peter said to him, you will never wash my feet. 
Jesus answered him, unless I wash you, you will have no inheritance with me. Simon Peter said to him, Master, then not only my feet, but my hands and my head as well. Jesus said to him, whoever has bathed has no need except to have his feet washed, for he is clean all over. So you are clean, but not all of you, for he knew who would betray him. For this reason, he said, not all of you are clean. So when he had washed their feet and put his garments back on and reclined at table again, he said to them, do you realize what I've done for you? You call me teacher and master, and rightly so, for indeed I am. If I therefore the master and the teacher have washed your feet, you ought to wash the feet of one another. I have given you a model to follow, so that as I have done for you, you should also do. The Gospel of the Lord. Bonsoir to tout. Bonsoir. Buenas noches a todos. Ya saben la, el costumbre de los judíos en la noche de la Pascua. Uno de los menores en la familia pide a la papá o otro, ¿por qué es diferente? esta noche que todos los otros. ¿Por qué es esta noche tan diferente que los otros? Y escuchamos esta noche la cuenta de la Pascua de Éxito y la respuesta es, ¿por qué es la Pascua del Señor? Entonces, ahora, esta noche, ¿por qué es diferente esta noche para nosotros? Es diferente porque en verdad es la Pascua del Señor, la Pascua de Jesús. La Pascua de Jesús, de, no sobre las aguas del río, pero de las aguas de la muerte hasta la vida. ¿Qué quería Jesús más que todo? ¿Qué quería Jesús en la noche antes de morir? Él quería estar con sus amigos, los discípulos. Él quería pasar tiempo con ellos. Él quería compartir esta cena con ellos, la última cena. ¿Qué es diferente esta noche? Esta noche es una noche de amistad, pero es una noche de la amistad con Cristo. La amistad con Cristo, con los apóstoles. La amistad con Cristo, con cada uno uno de nosotros. Es una noche de la amistad. Y en esta noche, en la cena, en la última cena que hizo Jesús, Él les dio un don muy precioso, un don muy pre precioso, el don de la Eucaristía, para que él, él les dio este don 
para quedar con ellos siempre. Y no solo con ellos en la mesa en esta noche, pero por las, ed las edades también, los edades también, porque Jesús quiere pasar el tiempo con sus amigos, con ustedes y con yo. Esta noche es la Pascua del Señor, la noche de la amistad. Tonight is a night of friendship with Jesus. We celebrate, we focus in on that friendship with Jesus. And I leave you with two questions. Why does Jesus say, I give you a new commandment? What is new about this commandment? I give you a new commandment that you love one another as I have loved you. What is new? I mean, you can go into the Old Testament and you can find God's commandment to love your neighbor, to love your neighbor as yourself. Jesus himself said the greatest commandment is to love God and to love your neighbor with all your heart and to love your neighbor as yourself. But so what makes this new on the night of the Last Supper? And the other question is, what's going on with Peter? What's up with Peter? What is it that makes Peter resist having his feet washed by Jesus? You see, Peter had expectations, just like all of them did, but Peter was the one, the bold one, right? And the fact is, he couldn't bear, he couldn't bear to see his savior, his rabbi, taking off his outer garment, setting it aside, wrapping an apron and kneeling down and washing his filthy feet. He just couldn't bear to see it. This isn't what he expected in a savior. Maybe like everybody else, he expected that political messiah, but that's part of it, but I, there's more. In a sense, what Jesus, uh, what Peter wanted to do, I'm gonna be a little harsh here. What Peter was looking for was a picture on the wall. He wanted the kind of a savior that you can, you know, like bow before, stand up to, admire, but who minds his business from afar. He was looking for a savior who would let him do his own thing. Remember when, when Jesus first called Simon? He said, leave me, Lord, I'm a sinful man. He wasn't pushing Jesus away, but basically what he was saying that day, when he was first called by Jesus, was, Lord, I'm a mess. Come back later. This house is a, is a wreck. Come back when I get it all cleaned up. Let me work out my issues and I'll be glad to have you come aboard. I'll call you if I need you, but that's what Peter was looking for. And I don't mean to be so harsh on Peter, but the fact of the matter is there's a side of Peter that's in all of us. There's a side of Peter that's very, very prevalent in the world today. What we want is a savior who's somewhat disinterested, somewhat distant from us, who's there when we need him, who, we can, who can make us feel good about ourselves, but, but not somebody who's gonna roll up his sleeves and get into the mess of, messiness of our lives. And so, at the Last Supper too, it was humiliating for Jesus to kneel down and wash his dirty feet. He wanted to save himself and then approach Jesus as kind of an equal. Here, Jesus, I've worked out all my problems. I'm a good guy, let me in. And that's not who Jesus is. 
Jesus wants to meet us in the messiness of our lives. He wants to wash us clean. He wants to help us along the way. And even more so, Jesus is telling Peter that night, Peter, you can keep trying and trying and trying, but you're never going to get it right on your own. Peter, you need my help. And the good news is, Jesus gives him that help, doesn't he? You know, I had based my reflections on a writing of the late Pope Benedict. And wouldn't you know it this morning at the Chrism Mass in Rome, Pope Francis picked up a similar theme, but he took it an extra step. I really encourage you to look at that homily. It's a beautiful homily. His homily to, it's a very challenging message to us as priests. He goes further into that night. You know what happens the rest of the night. You know at the supper again, Peter, big, strong, ready. Jesus, I will lay down my life for you. You count on me. They're, no one's going to do you any harm because they're not getting past me. But we all know how that worked out, don't we? He went down faster than the wind. In denying Jesus, one of the ways he denied him, he actually got very frustrated and he says, I tell you, I do not know the man. Remember that? Remember? I do not know the man. And when Pope Francis got me think what he said today, he says, you know, Peter was telling the truth more than he realized. Because in denying him, he really didn't know Jesus. He didn't know Jesus as Jesus really was. He had heard Jesus' words, He had walked along the road. He'd seen the miracles. But all of that fed into Peter's image of Jesus as a, 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 a miracle worker, a hero worship, somebody to cast aside and, and, and admire, not somebody to be drawn in, someone who should be protected from the messiness. Peter really didn't know the man. And it was only in the act of his denial, when he said those terrible, terrible words, that he only, only then did he begin to know, that he began to know Jesus. At that moment, Jesus looked upon him, I presume with love, and only then did he understand the man. Only then did Peter realize how broken he was beyond repair on his own. Only then could he feel the compunction, is the word the Pope used, the piercing, that he really needed the healing. And only then did he realize who Jesus was really and truly. Only then did he see the real power of Jesus. And then it all came together in the most painful of ways through his crucifixion, but then at the resurrection. So, what's new about this command then? Well, it has to do with Peter, and it has to do with you, and it has to do with me. What's new about this command is that you really can't love fully. You can, you, can, you can love a lot. You can't love fully unless you're loved by God. You can't love unless you have been truly, truly loved. 
for who you are as you are and lifted up by him feel that compunction for what is wrong in our lives and let him look upon us with that piercing but healing love let him wash our feet and then this new commandment makes sense then I am ready to love as Jesus loved because I have been loved immensely by him
Like the bread and wine that we will offer in the Eucharist, we now offer our prayers and petitions, trusting that God looks with favor on our heartfelt offerings. For the body of Christ, that is the church, that the Eucharist may strengthen and nourish us in our mission to follow the model Jesus gave to us at the Last Supper. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For our political leaders, that they may remain aware that they were elected to serve. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all those who work, whose work involves serving others, that the rest of us may recognize the value and the dignity of the work that they do. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those who minister to those who are sick, injured or dying, for those who, who work in emergency care, hospitals, nursing homes, and hospice care, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For our entire parish community, and in a special way, for those who will be welcomed into the church on Easter, that they may be renewed in spirit as we celebrate the Paschal Triduum, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, for all our intentions spoken and unspoken, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in our world, peace in our community, in a very particular way, we pray for the family of Officer Dilla, for the New York City Police Department who are in mourning these days. We pray for all those who watch over and protect our community and those who serve our nation at home and overseas. We pray to the Lord. Ever faithful God, your son gave us a model to follow when he gave us his body and blood to nourish us, to sustain us, and to save us. Hear the prayers that we offer as we celebrate this holy meal through your Son, who is our Passover and Lord forever and ever. Amen.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord Grant us, O Lord, we pray that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through who Christ our Lord. For he is the true and eternal priest who instituted the pattern of everlasting sacrifice and was the first to offer himself as the saving victim, commanding to commanding us to make this offering as his memorial. As we eat his flesh that was sacrificed for us, we are made strong. And as we drink his blood that was poured out for us, we are washed clean. And so with all the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant your peace to God, unite and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, my assisting bishops, and all who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, and all gather here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For then we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves, and all who are dear to them for the redemption, redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. 
celebrating the most sacred day on which our Lord Jesus Christ was handed over for our sake, and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever Virgin Mary, mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damian and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this sublation of our service, that of your whole family, which we make to you as we observe the day on which our Lord Jesus Christ handed on the mysteries of his body and blood for his disciples to celebrate. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O oh God, we pray to bless, acknowledge, and approve these offer this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer for our salvation and the salvation of all, that is today, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father. Giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and to drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your gl glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, 
command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty so that all of us who through this participation at your altar receive from the most holy body and blood of your son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servant, who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O oh Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who those sinners hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen Matthias, Barnabas Ignatius Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, St. Teresa of Avila, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Through, him, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Fiel es a la recomendación del Salvador y siguiendo su divina enseñanza nos atrevemos a decir. Padre nuestro que estás en el cielo, santificado sea tu nombre. Venga a nosotros tu reino. Hágase tu voluntad en la tierra como en el cielo. Danos hoy nuestro pan de cada día. Perdona nuestras ofensas como también nosotros perdonamos a los que nos ofenden. No nos dejes caer en la tentación, mas líbranos de mal. Líbranos de todos los Mal el Señor, y concédenos la paz en nuestros días, para que ayudados por tu misericordia vivamos siempre libres de pecado y protegidos de todo perturbación, mientras esperamos la gloriosa venida de nuestro Salvador Jesucristo. Señor Jesucristo, que dijiste a tus apóstoles, la paz les dejo, mi paz les doy. No tengas en cuenta nuestros pecados, sino la fe de tu iglesia, conforme a tu palabra. Concédele la paz y la unidad, tú que vives y reinas por los siglos de los siglos. Amén. La paz del Señor esté siempre con ustedes. Y con Este es el cuerpo.
Este es el Cordero de Dios que quita el pecado del mundo. Dichosos sus invitados a la cena del Señor. Señor, no soy digno de que entres en mi casa, pero una palabra tuya bastará para sanarme.
adults of the diocese, Jesus' first invitation to his disciples was to come follow him, and his last was to stay with him. In just a few moments, we will pray the closing prayer, and the Eucharist will be processed through this beautiful cathedral to its altar of repose, the garden, where we will remain with Jesus. We're invited to remain with our Lord. Our church will remain open until 11 p.m. tonight. This is very important, though, that at the conclusion of this Mass, we leave in silence. Este es muy importante que en el termina de la misa salimos en silencio, en silencio. No hay una bendición final, no hay ningún otras palabras, solo la oración de los la oración uh, final, una procesión y la iglesia va a quedar abierta hasta que 11 de la noche. Puede quedar con Jesús en el jardín de Getsemaní orando con él. Por favor, se vas a salir, salir en silencio. If you're going to leave after the procession, please do so in silence. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, that just as we are renewed by the supper of your Son in this present age, so may we enjoy his banquet for all eternity who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen.
If you would like to request a prayer for a loved one, 